I knew something wasn't right when I would look in the mirror and I didn't see my softness. I didn't see myself as someone being worthy of poured into. I slowly saw a part of me turning into the masculine energy that I've always craved out of partnerships. I slowly saw myself turning into this analytical robot that is just, at the end of the day, not truly me. And I'm trying to get back to that. I'm trying to get back to what feels mostly free. I overworked myself to a point where I didn't feel like the woman that God appointed me to be, but more like a shell developed out of protection that would just continue to pour on empty. I didn't feel worthy of congratulating myself after reaching milestones because I genuinely was too exhausted and tired to. I started to look outside for others to validate me and congratulate me for all of the work that I had been doing. And even that didn't start to feel good because how can I do that and ask complete strangers to my situation to look at me from the outside in and just assume that they knew how to pour into me the way that I needed to be poured into. And in order to get back to me, I needed to learn how to pour back into myself again. I'm doing different things this year. I'm working probably harder than ever in just new and exciting ways, but it also means I need new ways to pour back into myself so that I'm able to continue on. I make videos that come from a genuine place. And when reaching that place gets harder and harder, I know that it's time to get back to myself. In this video, I will describe ways I've poured back into myself in hopes that it gives you the reassurance to give you a little reboot, a restart, and give yourself the nurturing that you need so that you can continue on in whatever journey you're facing. Bottom line, I just hope you give yourself some more love. And in order to do that, we have to know how. So, let's get started. I think most importantly, I needed to recognize God's steps in my current situation. For example, two years ago, I journaled this very opportunity that I have in life where I'm able to use my ability to communicate, to heal, and maybe heal others. And I basically wrote a cover letter to the divine that states, if you allow me the opportunity to have the resources to speak life into people for a living, I will give my life to you. And my life had to completely shift and take a different form to do that. And in the dismantling of all that my life was, I was basically turned every way but loose. And I would get so caught up in the exhaustion of how it felt to wake up every day and try at this new life that I rarely acknowledged how fast God moved for me after I set that intention, after I spoke about my dreams and what I wanted and literally everything completely fell apart it completely shut down so indefinitely that I had nothing to go back to I literally had no choice but to move forward and in the steps of the promise that God gave me I just needed to acknowledge finally what a blessing that was even though in the moment and in the times it doesn't really feel like it but now to fast forward and after step after step of obedience, you begin to look at yourself and feel the exhaustion. And I was looking in the mirror and I felt not chosen. It feels more like being forgotten. And I started to lose that intention and I started to lose sight of my purpose behind it all and why I started to use my voice. And I got so wrapped up in the act of doing that I forgot that I needed to commune with my source and have that special time where I'm meditating. And I think that God had to shut my entire job down so that I could use my Saturdays to worship and dedicate my Saturdays to meeting with my light, my higher source. And I hope that doesn't scare anyone away, but it is my truth and I can't explain how powerful I feel after I'm in the presence of the divine and and it's the only time I truly feel seen and if you don't agree that's okay but I wanted to share my honest truth I don't think there is any level of self-care tips to my outer shell that would really nourish me like my source like my strength and like the God that I serve so if you resonate 
I hope when you hear this that you just meditate on where God has placed you and just sit still with the presence and free yourself of the guards that you have created out of protection for just a moment and maybe see yourself and see the bigger picture of where you fall into the divine plans and if you needed a little bit more of reassurance i hope you use this time to dedicate special moments with your higher source because i think back in the day when everything used to be for god there was no taboo about how we dedicated the time to worship and now that technology is kind of at the forefront and we're worshiping other things so easily it's so common for us to lose sight and i never want god to say that he's blessed me with all of these things and feel like i had forgotten the presence i never want my higher source to feel like i've forgotten how to be and stay in the presence after all of the things that he's blessed me with and it's so easy for that to happen especially when we're in our day-to-day um so in order for me to move forward and live intentionally and speak intentionally and really feel that i'm coming from an authentic place i need to strip myself of my ego and really sit with the presence I just recently hit 10k. Thank you so much for being a part of my dreams coming true. But I genuinely feel like I was watering down my videos. I was watering down my topics. I was watering down my approach out of fear. And I was more in the flow of an algorithm or what other people were doing outside of what I was called to do, which is actually get to the root of a lot of things that need to be healed especially in my community and amongst people that resonate with my approach i feel like there were so many things being said but not really the most important things that can really invoke the change out of people and how can i do that if i'm not able to meet and be real and authentic about myself and the things that i needed to change and the things that i needed to improve on and where my presence was not which was with the divine and how could i ever hope that you guys trust me if even my source is not from something that is stronger than me or that is reliable like i feel like my divine source is or has been for me when i am expressing myself i genuinely want to feel like it's coming from a neutral but loving and nurturing place but if i am unable to feel that within myself how could i dare stand in front of so many people and assume that they would believe that out of me i never wanted to wake up and make videos and feel like whatever i was doing was a lie because honestly if i am not connecting with my higher source that has appointed me that has promised that this is for my life it would never feel right and i never want to go anywhere where i feel like god is not with me because i've already felt those ways before and i never want to be in a position where i'm having to run back to the divine i always want to stay in the present stay in the steps that i'm supposed to be if anybody is resonating with that let me know because sometimes i do feel crazy like having such a strong belief is feeling like you're in the deep end and people have no idea it looks like you're drowning it looks like you're neck deep in something but it's really you being anchored and being held up by a presence and as long as my head is above water i feel fine and some days waves will brush over me and i'll feel like i'm drowning but that only comes to pass and um yeah sometimes we just need a little bit of a refresh and we need to get back in the presence of our divine source of our higher selves Um, to just to experience that unconditional love that is always present but sometimes we lose sight of and yeah i really want that for everyone if i didn't grow to have compassion for myself how can i expect others to 
Here is how I developed my energetic reset over the weekend and the actual awareness that needed to take place in order to do that efficiently. But on the outside, another thing that I did is I took a bath and I actually soaked. I stopped using excuses about how convenient taking showers are as opposed to taking baths. And I wanted to actually give myself permission to take up space. I had to correct my frame of thinking. Why do I think I waste so much time? Why do I assume that any time I'm in a state of enjoyment, it's time being wasted? When I'm forcing myself into overproduction and when I'm telling myself no about the things that feel good for me, what voice am I hearing in my mind? And does it sound like someone that loves me? And if not, why do I choose to give that person or that voice more power? And when we put it all into perspective, today could be my last day, my last week. And why would I waste any more of my time spending it in a mindset that does not know how to nurture and love me? And we put ourselves in these prisons assuming that we have to earn enjoyment, we have to earn pleasure. And in some cases that is true, but when you really need compassion for yourself, why is it so hard to find? When you are giving to so many people around you, why are you seldom able to give it to the person that needs it the most, which is yourself? I'm going to tell you, after a while, I honestly think that this pouring that you do is fake. It's all a performance. And I had to realize that if I'm not pouring into myself the way that I need to, I'm really not giving much. I'm not really offering much to anyone else if I don't know how to pour into me first. Even what I do give, it's going to be a half-assed version of whatever I can conjure up. And that's just real. And I needed to understand what it meant to nurture and love myself. And there was no wonder why I was experiencing relationships where people did not know how to love me. All I was doing was allowing mirrors to walk into my life and show me just how little I was giving to myself. I want you to tell yourself yes for an entire day or maybe an entire weekend. That's what I did. If I wanted to dance, I danced. If I wanted to get an iced coffee, I definitely got that. I listened to music. I listened to frequencies that felt good for me. I listened to a lot of different sermons where I'm being poured into. I just spent the day where my inner child and my higher self were existing together as one and collaborating on an experience. Even for the bath that I took, I poured in geranium and rose and all of these beautiful smelling scents and florals that really make me feel good and at peace and and ultimately what i was doing was building trust with my inner child again sometimes in our day-to-day -day, so many little betrayals happen when we're not putting ourselves first but this is the time when we're pouring back into ourselves where we start to build that trust again it's like a, a bad relationship that you have with someone and maybe someone betrayed you that's in a relationship and they assume that you're just going to have to get over it and act the same and operate the same, but it doesn't work like that. And our body doesn't work like that either. How can we build trust within ourselves if we're not nurturing that relationship with ourselves? And I hope in this video, it's giving you that lead way to actually Build trust with yourself again. Get to know who you are. Sometimes it's hard for us to connect with ourselves truly and intentionally is because we don't know how to nurture our future selves. We don't know what this new version needs in order to be okay. You know, when we were, were a kid and our parents probably just used to take us to Chuck E. Cheese to make us feel good. It's like you're kind of doing that to yourself. It's like you sometimes a little glass of wine is not going to cut it for this type of healing and nourishment. Maybe you need a little something else. Maybe you need to talk to someone and actually be honest with yourself and take those necessary steps instead of saying that you're going to do it and then never doing it because it's just going to pile up and it's going to explode and also you're not going to be able to show up in all of your potential if you continue to let yourself suppress your feelings and your emotions. I've done it for a long time and it doesn't feel good. 
And I think it's so easy for people that have experienced tough love in their life. We're so used to this raw approach to discipline and love and it's serving us for certain areas of our life. But sometimes we have to give ourselves a little bit more softness and we have such an imbalance of ways that we can approach giving ourselves love and even loving others because we're so used to this tough love and this raw approach that we assume that that's enough and time has shown that that's not the only way to love it shouldn't be the only way to love which is why most people probably don't even exist in that form of love i think it's time for us to find a balance so that we can continue in our purpose um, with ways that we can regulate our emotions and our feelings and our bodies because we need our shells to do everything that we are anointed and aligned to do in this life and and it would just be foolish of us to exist in the way that we feel and not assume that there aren't any better ways that we can learn and change and grow basically what i'm saying is it's okay to research how to nourish yourself in better ways i think something that changed the most for me is i stopped assuming that my parents ways of doing things and way they ways they wanted to love me ways they wanted to teach me was the only way that i knew how there's millions of people in the world with different perspectives and i want to open myself to that to give myself and maybe my future children a different experience how can I break those generational curses if I am succumbing to them and making them excuses why I don't feel like changing or doing different or putting forth the effort and making my feelings better? I always thought that someone was going to come into my life and heal me or change me love me to a point where i started to feel okay and that's no one's job i don't think anyone puts people on the earth to make someone else better sometimes by our experiences of life we are able to be of service but the days of me feeling that my partner my boyfriend or whoever that comes into my life is supposed to love me enough to heal me that's gone I am responsible for my own healing. I have the power to do it within myself. I speak about it long enough to know that there is more work to be done in that aspect so that I'm not having to overexert myself in other ways. What I want for everyone is to be so self-regulating that even the ups and downs in our lives don't take us away from our purpose and our path sometimes things hurt they're supposed to hurt how we respond to those things is all that matters and gone are the days that i respond in ways that debilitate me from actually fulfilling my purpose i truly am at a point in my life where i'm no longer making my inability to love myself an excuse so why so many people don't know how to love me i have to be the first person to be that example of how I show up for myself in hopes that everything else will align. I am just so appreciative to actually come to this point where I'm aware enough to know that how I've been moving wasn't right as far as like my topics and my videos. And if they've helped you, that's awesome. But I'm trying to get deeper. I'm trying to go to places that most people don't go to because honestly, I feel like it's just time i feel like we're in a season and an energy of frequency on the earth where people are just being honest a lot of truths are being revealed and the veil has lifted and more people like me and like you are able to talk about the things that most are probably afraid to now with the space that we have um, i'm going to go into that dimension and take up space and really be someone that most people probably won't like and appreciate but at least i am doing it with integrity i don't think anyone is supposed to completely love what i'm doing or what i'm saying but hopefully what i'm saying forces you to feel something we're so numbed by everything that's happening in the world we just experience this you know horrific thing happening um outside of this country and 
we're so used to it that it's hard for us to feel anything and we don't want to say the wrong things and i just feel myself getting kind of choked up thinking about it and it takes away our ability to be human with the amount of information that we're receiving and i wanted us to kind of get that hiccup of i want us to get to a place where we're connecting our humanness and our emotions and all of the things that make us great and godlike and creators into technology and create a better world create an aware and awakened frequency on this earth so that we can move into our futures with dignity and integrity about where we are in the cosmos and who we are you know i think in the future i know this probably sounds a little conspiracy theory i'm gonna get there sorry i think eventually i think there will be a, an, an experience maybe somewhere in the future where we will be forced to come as one and just exist as human beings because outside of this earth the only way that we can identify ourselves is by the planet that we're from and in order to do that we have to be in some way unified and when we reach this collective consciousness that is when we will be able to really see our place in the cosmos and why we were ever created in the first place and i feel like the god that i serve is just so much larger than the things that happen on this plane on this dimension that we have to really i think we have to get to a point where we're flexing our soul muscle at the end of the day once the shell is gone all we are is the energy that we feel um and to enter into that next space in our journey as humans i feel like we have to be stronger in our spirituality in our frequency and um i'm rambling but um that is all that i have today thank you so much for watching commenting and subscribing if this video resonated with you let me know in the comments below and i will see you all in my next one bye